channel. So today is a very exciting video because one of the TWICE members, which is Ji Hill, is having her first solo debut and I'm so excited to look at it. Like, I've been anticipating this since like the news dropped that she was having a solo and I've been, because Ji Hill, she's probably, is she my favorite? I think she's my favorite singer in TWICE. It's like a it's like Jihyo and then Nyan's like a close second. Nyan is actually my bias and I did do um, a reaction to her solo debut. I only did her title track though, Pop, and I didn't do like the B-sides, unfortunately, because shortly after um, Pop came out, she became my bias and I really regret not reacting to her whole album. So I'm going to react to Jihyo's album uh, now, but I'm only going to do like a couple of songs because I listened to the Hot Medley really Medley, and I picked out the songs that sounded the most interesting to me. So we're gonna do four songs today. So one is Killing Me Good, which is the title track and it has the music video for it. Then we're gonna be reacting to Closer. Then we're gonna react to the song Don't Wanna Go Back featuring Hayes. I think that's how you pronounce her name, which I love her music. Her solo music is really good. And then Nightmare, which I had the pleasure of seeing live for the twice concert i did a whole vlog on it you can check it out if you want i'm actually wearing the um merch i got <laughs> i thought it was very fitting for the video but yeah she a little dirty because i got makeup on it but you know let's ignore that so those were the songs that i um chose because they stuck out to me the most and the other songs they sounded good but they weren't to me like reaction worthy so i didn't pick them and i'm just gonna listen to them on my own time and i'm gonna do a unboxing of jihyo's album because i actually went to target this morning and i got all i think four versions of the album the digipack plus the three standard versions so i'm gonna be uploading my unboxing for that so you can check it out when i post it so we're just gonna go ahead and react to the music video i've not heard one bad thing about this um from like twitter i haven't seen anything i've just like heard opinions on the song and they said it's all good so i don't know like the vibes yet because i try my best not to listen to the title track because i wanted to be surprised so yeah anyways let's listen to jihyo's killing me good she already mm. looks stunning like she's like such a girl from material and the fact she's, that she got tan too i love it when she's tan or just like idols in general are tan hello i don't know what you said girl She's so pretty. Yeah. Like, do you see the face? Something that I can deny. Ooh, the dancing. She's such a main dancer material, like. Not that man stealing my girl, like please. She looks so hot driving. <laughs> Her voice, man. Hearing it live was literally insane. So this whole video is just the lyrics. Oh, I totally forgot what I was saying. She is so fun, like please. The ponytail, please. I'm jealous of that man, that should be me. Ugh, I like the song.
she oh my gosh she would thrive as a solo artist if she wasn't in twice oh did he break up with her oh the rain please You cannot do this to me, Jihyo. Like, please, you cannot dance in the rain and expect me not to have feelings for you. And the dance is so good. She's like an all-rounder, bro. Uh-oh, you say you're making me upset. Please do a warning, Jihyo. You cannot take your shirt off and expect me to be okay. Like, put a warning. But anyways, that song is really addicting. I can see myself listening to it repeat and repeat all over again. Like, I really... The dancing, the choreography. She is an all-rounder. She was, like, made to be a K-pop idol. Like, ooh. If she was, like, an artist in the United States, she would, like, be so huge. Especially with her vocals, her dancing, her stage presence. Like, literally every second Jihyo came on stage... Well, not on stage, but on screen when I went to the concert. I went with my friend and we would just like stop and look at each other. Like, she is beautiful. Like, the bare eye, like, Jihyo is a 10 out of 10. Like, she's she's literally like, like, she's just like a glowing thing. That's basically how I can describe Jihyo. She's like a perfect human being. Like, she's like, after I went to the concert, she's she was like slowly curling up my bias list and like my biases are like how can you pick one bias from twice like there's nine members so i can pick one bias but my main biases are nyan and mina but like yo she making me feel things like please like she's so beautiful like i'm literally about to die like i literally have the albums right next to me and i'm about to die when i unbox them like oh she's an all-rounder but anyways the lyrics and just like the whole I she, the, uh, she's just so much. Uh, <laughs> she's just such girlfriend material, and like, please give me a chance, give me a chance, give me a chance. And her dancing, her voice, like, oh, I know her voice is about to slap in this album. Like, oh my god. Anyways, we're gonna be reacting to the B sides now. I really, really, really love um, "Killing Me Good." um usually when i do album re uh reactions i like rank them from honest to go from one to ten so kill me good first listen i really like it i think once i like fully listen to it again i'll have like a final opinion but first listen i was like so captivated by like the visuals because she's like so stunning and the dancing so it kind of the song kind of like went through one ear and out the other but i can see myself being addicted to it because it the melodies does sound really really good so i would give it first listen a solid seven out of ten solid seven i really really like it but i know if i listen to it again i'll be addicted to it so the next song is called closer and this is one of the ones that i was like really really excited about uh to react to and it has kind of like a latinish pop vibe so i love it when k-pop groups do latin spanish inspired songs so <laughs> i'm excited for this one like ugh. Having Jihyo like a solo is like a dream come true because like she's like made to be a solo artist. Like I love her and Twice. Like obviously I love the Twice members, love the group, all of that. But like she would thrive as a solo artist. Like she she just has it. She has that. So let me stop talking and listen to closer. I just can't leave you alone. Can we get even closer, babe? Get closer. I'll get closer to you. I love her voice, bro. You don't understand. Okay, Jihyo, I hear you talking. Oh, I love the beat already. I feel like she would do great, like, with a dance for this song. Oh, 
Oh, this would be really good for a dance. Like, if she promotes this song with a dance, that'll be really good. Like, I can already, like, vision it. She would eat it. That was so good. I wish it were longer. Like, if it, instead of having the la 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 parts and then fade to the end, it would have a bridge and then play the chorus again. I wish it were longer. It has potential. Okay, I don't know what it is with these short K-pop songs. Can we stop it? Like, oh my gosh. But anyways, I really, 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 really like that song. I kind of, I don't think I like it more than Killing Me Good, but it sounds really good. Okay, I changed my ranking. I'm gonna rank Killing Me Good a seven and a half, and then closer, a seven out of 10. Yes. I hope JYP lets Jihyo promote her B-sides because last time when Nyon had her solo, they didn't promote her B-sides at all. And I was so disappointed because I love Countdown. It's one of my favorites. I was hoping like they would do like a live stage with Nyon and the artist she collabed with. And then I really love Sunset. I feel like Sunset's the most underrated song on the album. But anyways, like why did they not promote the B-sides? Like I'm so confused. And then they didn't do anything because she collabed with Felix from Stray Kids. Like why did they not let Nyan collab, not collab, promote her solo? Like they only did pop. Like yeah, that's the title track. But like come on, we have like five other B-sides. Like what's going on but hopefully she promotes her, her b-sides because they have really good potential for being performed especially with a voice like hers okay so the next one is probably the one i was most excited for like out of all the songs this one even like topping uh killing me good i was really excited for this one because it has kind of like an r&b vibe to it and it's don't want to go back featuring haze and i was literally so shocked when i saw her name because i actually was became like a fan of um her music because her song undo a bop and then i listened to her album i suggest you guys check her out because she's like really talented she's very pretty and her voice sounds nice and yeah so i suggest you guys check her out so i was really excited when they decided to collaborate because their voices together i bet it's gonna sound so beautiful so yeah let's listen to don't wanna go back I'm already in love. <laughs> this might be my favorite. Not the heartbreak song. The lyrics are so sad. What the heck? Her voice is already so pretty. I really like this song. I like the vibe. The lyrics are so sad. Voice. She is experiencing true heartbreak. Like, oh my gosh. Her voice, man. Bro. Definitely my favorite. I already called it once I heard the highlight medley, but that song, their voices, bro. Whoever made the collab idea with Hayes and Jihyo, God bless you, because oh my gosh, both of their vocals sounded so good and the lyrics are so sad. It reminds me of, what's that Twice song called? I should know it off the top of my head because it's one of my favorite songs off the album. Rewind, that's what it reminds me of. The lyrics, they remind me of Rewind. Oh, I love that song. Don't want to go back. I love that song. That's definitely definitely my favorite um, so far. I honestly give that song a 9 out of 10. Like, the lyrics, you can feel the emotion, especially the last, like, minute of the song. 
like and Chiyo goes crazy with the ad libs and the last note at the end like ugh. so the last song we're gonna react to is called nightmare and this one um i saw live at the twice concert i think i've already mentioned that and i actually hadn't heard the song prior to me going to the concert because i wanted to be surprised because i knew it was an unreleased song and i didn't know it was going to be on her album because she announced it i went to the metlife concert so she announced it at the metlife concert this song was going to be on the album and i was so excited like literally ever since i left the concert that was like in june i've been waiting for this to be on streaming platforms because the only option or the only way i could listen to nightmare was <laughs> the video i recorded and like i'm so excited to hear this song um like with headphones like the studio version like ugh. and then i have the cd <laughs> let me calm down and let me listen to the song because i know it's gonna slap ugh, i'm so excited didn't she write this song too i'm getting like flashbacks from the concert <laughs> Oh right, this is the first time I'm seeing like the live translations. Oh my gosh. Her voice is so sick. Oh, I love this song. Oh, this is so good. Like the production sounds so good. There should be a music video for this. Do you know how sick that would be? Oh, this song is so good. Definitely one of my favorites already. Like, I'm your nightmare. I'm your nightmare. Ugh, this is too good. Like, I just keep getting flashbacks of her performing this song. Like, the first time hearing this was crazy. Ugh, too good. Already one of my favorites off the album and i know i'm gonna overplay this song so much when i tell you i've been waiting for this song to be released i have been waiting i would rate nightmare honestly an 8 out of 10 like i just love the vibes of it okay so if i had to rank all the songs from like the highest number to the lowest number i would say number one is don't want to go back then two nightmare then three killing me good and then four closer all the songs are so good that I listen to. I cannot wait to open my albums. Oh! And the photo cards look really good too. <sighs> 10 out of 10 solo debut. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't even know which one would be my favorite um, compared to Jihyo and Nyan. I can't wait to see the other members. And Misa Mel also released their um, debut too. I need to do a video on them, definitely. I don't know which one's better. I want to lean more towards Nyan because she's my bias, but like Jihyo, the vocals, like the production of the songs, like, but Nyan's was good too. I don't know. Once I like fully, because I haven't even listened to the full album yet, so once I fully listen to the rest of the songs, I'll get my final opinion. And yeah. So Jihyo killed it with the solo debut. Like this is definitely so good. I'm finally glad that she um, gets to showcase her talents all by herself. Um, I can't wait to see her solo stages. I really hope she promotes her B-sides because we didn't see that one. Nyan, hopefully, maybe one day she'll do her B-sides. I don't know, but 
anyway yes hopefully Gio promotes her b-sides i if i if she promotes one i really want to see nightmare i know she, well she's already been kind of promoting it because she's been performing it on another tour but it'll be really cool to see nightmare again and also don't want to go back it'll be really cool if Hayes and Gio got together to perform that song be really cool and a choreography for closer like this album has so much potential to do like such great things with dancing and performance and whatnot so i hope jyp plays their cards right with jihyo solo and we don't just like discard the b-sides hopefully my reaction to Jihyo's solo debut let me know your thoughts on her debut i really enjoyed it like i said i haven't listened to the rest of the three songs on the album so i'll give my final opinion on it when um i finally listen to it and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed make sure to give this video a big like and subscribe you can check out my other videos if you like i reacted to everglow's long-awaited comeback slay plus i reacted to the b-sides as well so if you want to check that out you can i would greatly appreciate that you can also leave that request of what you want me to react to next and i'll see you guys next time when i post a new video bye